with owner today, Goy, and he will explain to us his Toyota MR2 from year 91. So Goy with us today, and uh, he will explain to us this is his ride. Is it a daily ride? It's a daily driver, yes. Um, this is the second generation where Toyota released it in '89. Uh, then my one is uh, Revision 2, which was uh, manufactured in '91. So totally, how many version they have for SW20? Um, if I'm not mistaken, five. Five version until which year they produce start from '89 until? I think until '97 or '99. Okay, that would be version five, lah. Like. Revision five, yes. Okay. Uh, about this car, Gui. Uh, why you choose this car when there's so many car in the '90s, the JTM '90s? Why the SW20 is your choice? Oh, um, I grew up playing uh, Need for Speed, Initial D. Then um, MR2 was always my uh, to-go car, choice of car. Because um, in the game, it does uh, handle differently compared to others. It's something different, something uh, special. Then uh, when I got older, when I actually can afford, I actually went hunting for an actual one. So basically, this is your dream car or your game car in the young age and finally you got the real car. Yes, like, yes. So this is really a dream come true, yeah? Yes. So how, how uh, you start to search about this car? How you got it? Um, when I st Once I have enough budget, then I start looking. It took me around a uh, couple of years before I, I managed to see one that I like. Mm. Have you uh, get any other uh, MR2 before this? Um, this is my first one. This is your first and you keep? Mm. How long have you kept this car? Um, I had this car for two and a half years now. Okay. I got it in uh, April 2018. Then uh, when you got this car, how it looks like? How is the condition like? Um, the car was stock. The owner basically did not do anything. So there were uh, parts of it that were unserviced, unrepaired. Uh, but the main reason I choose this specific car because the interior is more complete compared to others. You say the ex owner are uh, not do much. Is this uh, for you or for him? Is it uh, this kind of car is high maintenance? It's hard to get parts or what do you think? Um, it's still a Toyota. Then a lot of later model Toyotas like the later Corollas, later Camrys use back the same parts. So mechanical parts is not an issue. Ah, basically this car they share a lot of parts with other Toyota, even yes. the commercial, the Corolla, the Camry. Correct. So the means is actually the parts is not difficult. No. So for the normal servicing like the the how to say the oil change and all these things, all these things usually no issue. No right? issue. Okay. All right. Wait. Let's tour around your car. Why you keep it stock? As we see, it's almost the body kit, everything stock, but it looks good. And why you keep it stock? Because as we see, there's a lot of MR2 out there, mostly uh, are already uh, modified the body kit. Well, um, I grew up with the stock look, then I prefer the stock look because it looks less aggressive, more tame. A lot of aftermarket uh, body kits are, how to say, makes the car very buff, very aggressive, which personally I do not like. So you mm. prefer to keep it simple mm. and simple. And then why black? and go library you are choosing okay um the car came as black all black then i look at the the the, the stripes because the original mr2 toyota painted two-tone usually is a red or black or blue or black so since my car is already black i might as well try something put the the the, the strips a go it was actually an experiment but i kind of like the look Ah, okay. Uh, uh, this one, are you DIY? Or? I, I, I DIY first to see how it comes out, but I do plan to uh, repaint it later. Okay, the means until now this is DIY. DIY. Job, but it looks good though. Because from um, here we can see actually it still looks good because the black is original paint. Yes. And then the gold only you DIY, yes. you paint yourself. Still looks good. Okay, and then this bumper is what? Which model? This is the same bumper as the car, Revision 2. So that's why the lip is a bit more pronounced and aggressive compared to Revision 1. Ah, alright. Okay, the spoiler is it original? Original. It all works? Yes. It still works, yeah? Mm. Uh, MR2, they come with T roof. And we know that some is called hardtop, is it? Um, there was the hardtop, the sunroof, and the T-bar moonroof, they call it. Oh, that, that's three. Three. There's a hardtop, uh, then sunroof, sunroof, and this is T-bar. Ah. 
So I think mostly we see in the market in Malaysia is tea bar. Well, mostly in the world is tea bar because during that time, um, a lot of people prefer to buy the tea bar. So eventually, around 92, 93, Toyota stopped making sunroof and hardtop altogether. Ah, so after that, it's all tea bar. It's tea bar. Mm. All right, but I, as I believe, tea bar will give a lot of problem, especially in Malaysia weather. Um, for mine, not really. Um, it's true that the rubber would age and harden uh, over time. Then you do need to do some maintenance. Mm -hmm. But for mine, it's still the original rubber. But I did some reconditioning, um, some silicone grease. Then I, I pad up some places with uh, RTV silicon. So for now, mine is leak free. Mm. So the miss up before that, you also face uh, some leakage yes. in water. Yes. Because. Uh, you see, it's all rubber. The whole roof actually is all rubber. Mm, right? mm. So, how how long for you to take to find out a solution to fix the, the rubber? Mm, and when I first started to do some padding with plastic, but after a while the plastic will come off. Then uh, I read online, some people suggested to use uh, RTV silicon. Then uh, other people suggested to recondition the rubber with uh, this uh, Japanese type grease. Mostly this grease is used by Honda people, uh, but it can be applied to our cars. Uh, so, um, usually the leak is around here near the, the, the corner. So this, this is the main, main, main part Most of Most people will experience leak from here. Alright. So, as the rubber shrinks, there is a gap. Mm -hmm. So I've padded more silicone on the roof side. Okay. Uh, then uh, sometimes it's from the glass window, so I also padded some silicone. Uh, because this is uh, frameless, uh, yes. so the, uh, the, the glass will come, come to here. Yes. Usually leak from here, right? Mm. Mm. Alright, so this is what all you patch more rubber. Mm. More and we, RTV silicone. And we can see part of it, like this part is a bit harder. And this is the uh, original wind deflector. It's okay. Uh. So it stop for the, the, the glass to stop here or what? Oh, this is for, for wind, I think. For wind. Uh. Alright. So basically, here is the major I issue for the tea roof. Mm. Right? So other than that, how about this part? Mm, some people will have uh, this part, but for me, no. Ah, okay. Mm. Alright, okay. So like you said just now, the, the, the grease, the, the grease from Honda, what grease is that? It's the, I, I can't remember the name, uh, it's some Japanese grease so from Honda. So actually they soften the, the rubber? It uh, makes the rubber soft and it tries to rejuvenize the rubber, make it buff back. Oh, so So, yes, yeah, so after my first application, the rubber actually become bigger. Okay. Uh, so it contact more. Okay. Uh, then Honda themselves recommend that you do the application once every five years. Okay. So uh, is it possible to get the, the chemical? Yes, I bought mine in Malaysia. Alright. Uh, you can possible to get? Yes, you can buy from Honda. Alright, alright. Oh, Honda selling actually. Honda selling. The mean they apply for all the normal car also? I think it was originally meant for the CRX. Uh, uh. Okay, alright. So yeah, CRX also got this similar T roof, right? Uh, theirs is uh, Targa. The whole roof is one piece. One piece the top uh, without, without the center. Ah, uh, no center, center bar. Correct. All right. Oh yeah, correct. They are open this side. Yes, right? the yes. Whole yes. Thing uh. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So after you you use the the chemical from Honda, why you not continue? Um, I still do. I reapply it every three to six months. Oh, still doing it. Uh, okay, but only you add more rubber to to. Some places the rubber has gone to its limit, mm -hmm. so I have to pat a bit lah. Okay. Mm. okay. And then we can see your back, your tail light still the stock one, very stock. You didn't don't even change to the late model like most of the people change the version. Uh, revision three onwards, yes. yes. Uh, they call it the cocky lights. Yeah, the cocky light. Why, why you you stick to the version two light? Well, originally I wanted the cocky lights, but mm -hmm. now I look at it, I feel that the square eighties nineties look matches the car, matches the age. Alright. Sometimes <coughs> not necessary. People change. You have to change, right? Mm. Even the the back grill is is the revision two. Revision yes. Two, yeah. mm. Okay. Even the spoiler, also spoiler, your yes. spoiler, also uh, from the version two. Yeah, from the from the actual car never changed. Oh, okay, that means this car a lot of thing actually is uh, all stock. All stock. Right? Previous owner didn't do anything. Ah, mm. okay. How this car? How about the compartment like? Because as we see, this is only a two seated car. How is the compartment like? 
How many like can, uh, for luggage or anything? Yes, uh, yes. There is a uh, boot at the back. Okay, can you show us? Mm. Alright, there's quite big space, yeah? It's uh, actually quite deep compared to most cars because the spare tire is actually in front. Okay, oh, the spare tire is uh, in front. It's, so, it's small but it's deep. Yeah, it's actually, we can see here, this one at least can put three cabin luggage, do you think? Possible. 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 Three, three cabin luggage. Mm. It's huge also, yeah. So not if we as we thought this car is only carry uh, driver and passenger. We never thought there has a space for luggage also. Now we see this is the place. Okay, let's see the front as the back is already for the luggage. Right, this is the front part. Actually, the spare tire is in front, yeah. Hmm. So it's just nine for one spare tire. Um, actually, you can fit a full size tire. When full size for the let's say seventeen. Yes, even well, with a seven JJ white. Yes. Can uh, can because when Toyota sold this car, mm -hmm. depending on options, mm -hmm. if you order the ones with the separate rims, mm -hmm. they'll give you five with the full rim in in in. Oh. Oh, they come with the sport rim as a spare. Ah, that is an optional purchase when you buy new from Toyota at the time. Okay, like we can see here, actually still got a small, small space here. Yeah? Mm. Okay, we still can put a small luggage. Actually. Yes, yes. I mm. think a, a cab, uh, cabin luggage also possible to put. Ah, uh, this one I don't think so because it's slanting. The edge of the cabin uh, luggage bag may hit the top. It's possible yeah. to put in more stuff here. Mm. Uh, okay. So gearbox is uh, electro hydraulic. So after I put in the dedicated oil cooler, this is like an airplane cockpit which full of gadget, full of meter. 